very good evening to you um on this sunday night 7 p.m so you know what it is it's creation station time and we're gonna be playing together so i just want to sum up what have been done so far because we, we still got tonight's session with purple beads and another session next week so i um, just want to really sort of sum up what we have been doing and all the little patterns what we have been making i also got a couple of pictures to show off to you and let me just move my windows over what did i do over to the pictures i did save them on the on the air but um never mind so i'm just gonna pop these out to you so we've been playing with helio speeds um samo speeds um we did another version of this now these are not um kits yet maybe later on i will turn them into proper patterns the aim of today and the aim of every any evening is just to play together and just come up with different patterns here we did the same pattern without the seed beads in the middle and actually the summer speed has been turned a different way here than than here i think they do fit together nicer that way than done this way we done so much this one the one we did last week i really do like this one i'm definitely wanting to make a bracelet pattern up up for that one we also played around with the summer speeds and the uh, um, arco speeds um putting different beads in between again um i think this one was the last one we did but we played together and we added like bugle beads in it which we i think decided we didn't really like that much um we also did it with size eight seed beads which is <laughs> this is the one we started with and in the end i think we agreed that that was the best one out of them all obviously we would need to dress this up and add other bits of pieces in there but that could be another pattern we do later on like we do a bracelet with this was this was when where we started with this pattern and then um, we ended up here so let's like kind of just show you the process now do have a think what bead do you want me to play with tonight i would like to play with the um, elos which is like they like the pinch beads but the purple version of it because i would like to make a beaded bead and i think they would look really great so we had had a little play with these as well i really do love and this one definitely gonna turn into a pendant or you can have it in the middle of a bracelet anywhere really we like that was a really good one that was about three weeks three weeks ago well, i'm just gonna grab the picture again because jean sent me a picture and i'm gonna show you this beautiful what she made with it so she had a play last week and she made a beautiful necklace now on this note that i'm showing you jean's um, picture please if you have been playing with the particle beads send me a picture on messenger so i can show it off to everybody i do really love this necklace what jean made up i think they are those uh they, they be just fit together so perfectly and I love she used the triangle shaped ones the kelps she used the little drop shaped ones which is the Amos speeds they are just look really really nice so we got loads of different bits of pieces what I've been up to and I have got I think I've got another picture here for you to show there we go this is another pattern which came in again like you know sometimes it can be really simple and, and it looks really really good so tonight i would like to play with where are they gone these beautiful beads now i've got a couple of different things like what i'm thinking i want to do with it. i want to do a beaded bead so i love baking beaded beads because they become feature beads in the middle and then you can do all sorts of different things with it really um dress it up so there is a couple of different designs but um what i would like to do one of them is just using these and then we're gonna add seed beads on later on and then i want to do another version where we're adding the seed beads in at the same time when we're adding the beads on so just really just want to have a good good play with this right if you do sending me a picture do let me know in the chat so i know that um i know i know i need to look out for what color beads 
are we going to use with these? I could imagine a nice olive colour, I think would be nice. I'm just going to grab. Yes, I think that will be perfect. So I'm just going to grab some thread and we're going to start doing a beaded bead with this one. But while I'm grabbing, grabbing the thread and trying to thread my needle, I'm going to, of course, come and say hello to you all. I'm just move my tray here. That's all my thread is underneath it. Right, so I'm going to use that color thread will be, will be great. Right, do let me know what have you been up this week, what you've been up to, what you've been doing, um, you know, <laughs> what have you been designing, what have you been creating, what you wanted to do but didn't get to do. Just let me know how your week went. I had quite a busy week and this week run away with me again. Like every single week is just so, so, I don't know, at the moment, it's just really running away. I mean, we are almost at the end of October and um, before we know it, it's going to be, I'm not going to say the C word. <laughs> I, I don't like to say the C word before November, but uh, before we know it, it's going to come around very, very quick. Right, so I'm kind of like totally winging this because this has got three sides. I'm going to sew together three beads and then we see how how we're going to go and how we are we are going to play with it. Right, let me just quickly say hello to you all. Good evening, Mina. Good evening, Celtic Seahorse Crafts. Good evening, Lucy. Um... Gwen, Angela, Sharon. Right, one thing I actually forgot to do today because I was really, <laughs> I was sorting out some other bits and pieces. I forgot to share the link on Facebook. So I'm very, very quickly, I'm going to, or actually if one of you could do it, that would be great as well. But I'm very quickly going to pop in and share it on my page. Um, There we go, live. Just one second, grab a link. Because it does really help. Like when we share things out, it really, really helps. Because um, sometimes people just don't know about it or forget about it. I forget about everything. Like, you know, I forget what day of the week is. I forget what, what month we are in. Um, I forget pretty much everything. You know me. So just very quickly going to pop on totally beads and share the link so every single share every single like every single you know it really helps the really helps the um the channel out to and just like what we're doing here is you know just sharing the love for our craft right come on my one to create a post on facebook sorry sorry about this I don't know, today, today run away with me as well. <laughs> Liz is saying she doesn't know where the weeks are going either. I haven't done much of anything this week, been playing too many video games. Oh, bless you. What games do you play? Uh, do let us know. Um, Liz said she shared it. She shared it in the handmade groups. So I'll pop it on. But my internet is, I don't know what's going on. I just got this going around and around and around. So... Not sure. Right, have any of you made um, beaded beads with these beads? Do let me know that as well in the chat so we can. No, it doesn't want to know. And the whole thing is just frozen now. Audio deal. Um, sometimes, like social media it can be so easy and sometimes it can be like really like you know it doesn't do what i want it to do good evening lorna uh, celtic seahorse craft says i never know what day we are on due to my road to changing of figure i never know what day month year we in you name it like um right there we go oh wrong one Just gonna say what that's doing. Right, 
come and join in the fun. We are live now. Right, okay, so I am just going to post this here and then we are ready to get started. All of these things like you go through, like before I do um, kind of like anything, I, I, I pop, pop in here and um, I kind of have got like a check, sort of like I'm doing this or I'm doing um, doing different bits of pieces, but this, I always forget something, like you know me. Oh, Linda um, is watching us from, I am probably going to butcher the name, Adri Rondak, Mountain, Mountains, New York. So welcome to our little live. We're just going to get started reading just in a sec. I'm just, um, I'm just getting ready. Right. Okay. So Lucy said you shared it in the handmade group. So I'm just going to pop in on a total of beads and share it on there. There we go. There we go. Right. They changed it again, like Facebook changed things again. Oh dear. I think it just, it just, the thing has just crashed on me again. I don't know what is it doing. So I am going to just exit. There we go. There we go. Right. All done. All done and done and done. So I'm going to start sewing three beads together and we're going to make our little, we're going to make our little pattern. Um, I'm not sure if I want three or four beads in in my little beaded bead at the top, but it will make sense just in a second. So we're gonna be sewing. Um, we're gonna be sewing every single time. We're gonna be sewing three beads together, and we're gonna be going round and adding, adding them up. So maybe we go do four or five um, into a circle. So as I'm having three beads here. I'm going to go through all three of them one more time, just like that. There we go. And I'm going to pull this nice and tight. I'm going to go through the first one one more time. So I'm working away from my tail. And actually, probably I can zoom in a little bit more for you. So I'm going to be working away from my tail. And in that way, I can pull it really nice and tight. Now, as I'm coming out of this bead here, I'm going to pick up a further two beads. One, two. And I'm going to come through the exactly the same bead again. So this is my tail end up here. And this is my working working again. So I'm coming out of the bead at the bottom. I'm going to come from the top again to form another little triangle on the top. And it's actually already starting to curve. Can you see that? It's already starting to curve. So I'm going to go along and I want to do another little triangle on the next bead. So as I came through this one, I'm going to take my needle through the next bead. It doesn't matter which direction you travel, I guess. And I'm going to pick up another two. So I'm going to pick up one, two. I'm exiting at the top. So I'm going to come through from the bottom and pull this one tight. And again, can you see we got another? I think four will sit together nicely. Not we don't we don't need we don't need five because if we do five, well maybe five will let's do four for this one and then perhaps we do five for the next one. I am just gonna come in here and slightly move this down. Right, I'm not ignoring your comments. I'm just gonna pop back and we'll catch up. Um what you're saying. Good evening, Lorna, and good evening, Caroline. And saying sorry a bit late tonight, just seeing the fa family of after a week with us. Oh, bless you. I bet you had a fantastic time with them. 
which is saying hey boo trick or treat evening everyone good evening to you as well my lovely um Lucy Sink, I've been playing World of Warcraft, pretty old game, but I like it. I don't really know that one. I think Christopher was, or maybe he was talking about something else. So I'm going to come along because I want to add another bit. So can you see, like, I got three bits here, I got three bits here, I got three bits here. So I need to add the third bead on this side. So I'm going to come along one, two beads. Just like that. I'm just weaving my thread around and then I'm going to go down on this bead. And now I'm going to pick up another one and come up through this one. So now we have got, and if I pull this up nice and tight, and it's actually, can you see it's already curling itself into a little bit of a half, half bubble for us here or half, 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 half circle, I guess. A dry on drag. Um, I'm not sure what that means. And Teresa, do let me know. Well, Lucy said she said in the groups too. Thank you so much, Lucy. That's so, so helpful. Every single share really helps um, the channel and the content add. So now I need to move on the other side and I need to repeat to add those like four beads on the other side of this. So I'm, I'm facing upwards into the middle here. I'm going to go through the next two beads because I want to get to this bottom bead here. Oh, good evening, Camille's here. And I'm going to come through here. And now, as I'm here, I'm going to pick up two beads. And as I'm exiting at the bottom, I'm going to come from the top. Now, I could just go straight over. I could just go straight over to this bead, but I don't really want to have if I turn it this way, I don't really want to have a thread path in between those beads. So I'm going to weave my thread down and we kind of like sort of going to go around in circles. So I'm just going to go through this bead because I'm going to have to add. So we're going to have to add. We're going to make this and this bead into another unit of three. So I'm going to have to add an extra one here. So I'm going to come through this. If, you, if I, I try to pull it apart, so that's what i done. I added a triangle on the top of this bead. I'm going to add a triangle on the top of this bead. But the triangle on top of this bead is um, going to share this bead from the previous triangle as well. So um, we're going to have the same amount of beads. We only need to add four beads. So I'm going to come around. And as I'm coming around, I'm going to go into my next side bead as well so i have created if i'm looking at above i got thread path between those two a thread path between those two a thread path between those two and a thread path between those two but i haven't got a thread path going straight across or um horizontal right i'm going to pick up one and i'm going to come through this just here just pull this tight Good evening, Anne. Anne's here. And I am. Yeah, I thought I had a knot on my thread, but I haven't. And I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. So we have got to be coming around to the next section and we're going to have to add more beads in there. So again, I got thread pass. All of them I'm moving on to the next section, which I have got a thread path going there, a thread path going there. I got a bead missing here. So I'm gonna have to have a thread path between those and a thread path between those. So I'm gonna move along and we're just gonna come around. It doesn't matter what way you are oops, going round, as long as you're following an existing and what just happened. I think I did had an, have had a knot. I want you to sing, I'm washing whilst in the bath. <laughs> Lost track of time. I have got a knot somewhere and it doesn't really want to come through. I could possibly have sewn through. Just pull this back up. There we go. There is my knot. 
might possibly sewn through the thread itself somewhere. Otherwise it's not coming again. What's going on at thread? This is all, this is, oh, there we go. There is a thread here. Did I loop it around? I think we got it. Yes, that's it. Phew, panic over. <laughs> be okay, be good. So I'm going to moving it around. So I need to add another bead just in here. So that bead is going to go vertical in between there. I'm going to form three beads with that one and three beads with that one. And that's the last bead we need to add. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to pick up. Please don't knot on me thread. I, I don't know. I had a week with <laughs> thread this week. <laughs> really did. I've been working on a few things and um, my thread has been knotting. So I don't know. It's probably me. Not the thread. The thread is good. Right. Pull this out nice and I'm going to pick up my bead, come through that unit again. So I've got three beads together there again. Oh, I think we could add some little crystals in the gap or something. That would look really good. I'm going to have to untwist the thread, I think. Sometimes that's what's the problem, that your thread is twisted. So now we kind of like added every single bead we need to add. All this is left to do is these three beads have to be sewn together because they, they we haven't created a thread, thread path in between them. So I'm going to come down following any thread path around. Good evening, Amelia. And then I'm just going to go through these three, zipping them together. And then we got a little beaded bead. Now this one is probably about 12 millimeter-ish. So it's not, not too small, but I get my ruler out and we can have a look. So now every single bead is sewn together and I either have three beads together or I can see four thread paths forming. And what I'm going to do, I quite like to, if I'm going to use this as a beaded bead on something, so yes, let's imagine, do I got anything I can, I've got a crochet hook here, maybe this one, that's four mil, three and a half, there's a small crochet hook. This one will do. I think it will go through. So um, just to show you, no, too big. Need something smaller. So I will be able to add this onto like um, tiger tail. Oh, this is a three mil one. No, so something smaller. Just really want to put poke something through it so you can see. I'm just looking here. What I have, but these tweezers are not the right size either. No, that's but how is it like whenever you're looking for something, like you, you can never find it. And like, I'm um, 10 minutes later, I will put my hand right on the top of it, right? Okay, so the, the, this is just a tweezer, I just want to put it through. So I'm going to just go through one hole to the other side, and that's how we're going to add it on to. How we're going to add it onto a tiger tail or something and then we can add beads in between it. So this is going to be like an intricate bead for your, um, for any necklace you're making. But I don't really want to see those thread puffs. So we're going to have to add something in here. Now I have got, I got a miracle bead here from Lifter just because it's on my desk. I think that will be too big. I think we need a three mil, something three mil to add in the middle there. Um, yeah, so, so the 4 mil would sit more on top of it and I think the 3 mil would sink nice in it. So do let me know in the chat the crystal, pearl or what shall we add into the middle there all the way around. Or um, yeah, see, size 8 seed bead would do as well. So we got crystal, pearl, size 8 seed bead. Um, what else have I got here? Um, I think that's that. That's pretty much um, pretty much our um, choice at the moment. So I want to know seed bead, size eight seed bead, 
or a crystal or a pearl what shall I go and grab quickly and what we're going to put into the gaps in the middle so I'm just strengthening my bead a little bit I'm just going to come around a couple of these beads again Rachel is saying, I think Crystal, good evening Ruth, nice to, nice to see you here, lovely. Crystal, um, Ruth is saying, Camille is saying still frozen, so if, it, if it's frozen, Camille, do you still get the text on the side and just the image is frozen? If your image is frozen, try to restart the page, like just press the, the all half circle at the top. Or I don't know, depending on what um, device you are on. Right, so I'm going to just grab three millimeter crystal. I think round, round crystal we need for this one, and maybe a nice, oh, I don't know, olivey greeny color. Well, we have to see what I got in my box here because I haven't got a lot of three mil. That's not normally a size I use. Oh, this is three mil. Ooh, ooh, ooh I got teal. I think that would be gorgeous in there. Teal would look nice. So that could be our option number one. Oh, this one is quite nice. This could be nice as well. This is like an olive garden color. I see I haven't got any three wheel and look I'm finding them all <laughs> finding them all uh, oh this one would look nice as well obviously I just had the right I've just had the right colors um pretty much that's it that's all the three wheel I have um I got like a more of a this color but I think that's too blue to go with it and I got a turquoise and I got like some like a, a I think it's too pale to go with it but whenever I do any colors, I basically just like sit down, I play with the bead and then just line up different beads next to it. And then depending on which one, nah, which one, like I like the look of it and I will experiment and sew that one onto it. So I'm just going to pop this on the side. Right. Okay. So are we going to do teal? Are we going to do Olive Garden or are we going to do this? Um, I think it's green plated color. So teal, Olive Garden or green plated. Let me know. Option number one, option number two, option number three. <laughs> Maybe the dark one, Ruth is saying. Um, option number two, Olive color, which is the middle one. I think with the Olive one looks nice with it. Um, olive olive please so i think we're gonna go with this olive garden color i think that will look nice again can we think it's working again that's great um olive please camille is saying when he's saying till we're saying number three olive so i think i think we're gonna go with the olive that's overall you're liking the olive right let me just pop it actually i'll pop this back in the box because I end up with a heap of stuff on my desk. So you only need four beads <laughs> for this one. So if you got, so when you make something like this, you got like leftover beads somewhere. But if I made this into a necklace and that would be one of my beaded beads, what I'm going to be using one, two, three, four, then um, obviously I would use the rest of the beads because you only want to make maybe five, seven or, or perhaps nine I, was, I, I like to go with uneven numbers of beaded beads um, for the for, for for the front of my necklace and the rest of them I would do I would probably choose a pearl and then and then, then the crystals I would put in between the pearls. So as I'm I'm gonna create thread puff now in between going around. So as I'm coming out of this one, I'm just gonna go straight through the next one and add that crystal in and then pick up another crystal so this little beaded bead has got four sides I need to on un... 
I'm just going to do it the other way. I need to un, yeah, twist the thread just a couple of times. I'm just holding it between my thumb and index finger. I'm just pulling it all the way down so it's on twist. So hopefully we won't have a problem with it. Right, next bead. And finally, the last bead. Now, when I make beaded beads, and it's no exception to that, like any beaded bead I make. So at the moment, we have finished our pattern, is done, it's great. But what I like doing is, and can you see, like, it's a little bit squishy. So it's not quite, it's not quite as solid as I want it to be. So first of all, I'm going to go around these beads one more time just to really tighten this middle row up. Now I'm always going to pull tight when I'm coming out of one of these lost beads. I'm not going to pull tight after I'm coming out of the crystal, just in case the crystal cuts my thread. And if I am if I have to come out of the crystal, I always pull the same direction as the hole is sitting in the crystal. I'm just going to go around and really tighten this up. There we go. I, th I think, have I gone around now? I think I have gone around. Let's do one, one more for luck, as they say. And now I'm going to go out to the sides and I'm going to sew these three together and just kind of like start to weave my thread around. So with this thread, because my tail is here, I'm going to have to work my tail off. Or, or you can bring your working thread to your tail and then knot it together. But I'm going to concentrate on sewing these together further on this side just to make this bead a bit firmer. So I'm just going to follow any thread path I have created going around those little triangles, just the lost beads. There we go. Just to make the shape a little bit more solid. And bear in mind, well, if you don't have to add this on tiger tail, I do like to use lovely tiger tail because it keeps the shape, but we can equally add this onto a thread. But I want to, after this, I want to do another bead with these where we have got seed beads in there at the starting point. So there we're going to sew threes together, but we're going to have sections of seed beads as well. Right, actually, I'm going to, I'm, I think you get kind of like this on what we needed to do. So I'm going to leave this and go on to the next one. Um, I would either go around until my thread runs out or I can no longer. I, go, I took a pretty long thread, so I probably would be all right for quite some time. Or I can no longer can go through the hole on the bead because it's become too tight. So that's all I would be doing. And now already it's much more solid. I kind of like that. It looks like a flower with four petals, doesn't it? With a crystal in the middle. So when we're going to have this on a necklace, we'd like, let me just grab. I'm going to grab a crystal bead and just go through. I'm not I'm not going to pull, pull the thing through. I just want to demonstrate for you. So when we're going to have this on a necklace, like that, I think that's going to look really, really beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful feature bit. And this actually, oh, we could turn this into ooh, little earrings. And I love my dangly earrings. And I think they would look really, really cute. And I would just maybe add maybe three or four seed beads on the top to have a little bit of a length before I go through. Or do you want a hat pin? That would work as well. Not, not not on a thread. Do you want a hat pin and just add a maybe or a few more crystals towards the top? I think that would look really good. Lucy's saying looks gorgeous. I love it too. I love beaded beads because it's like uh, there's some something about it that sewing smaller beads together to form a larger bead. Um, evening Dorothy. Um, hi friend. I hope you're doing um doing all right in a sunny Caribbean. She says well, very welcome to our little Sunday night, but it's, we are in the UK, so it's half past seven for us. Uh, now, um, I I um, hope you have the best of the weather there. Um, I am, and I, I, I think I, I speak for a lot of people, I'm very, very jealous. Um, 
that you are on a sunny Caribbean, but hi-ho, we've never been. Maybe one day we will get to go. Melissa would love these, these little beaded beads. Absolutely, I think she would. Um, Lindsay is saying, I love beaded beads with seed beads and pinch beads. Actually, I love beaded beads. Um, yeah, I love beaded beads as well. Um, love beaded beads. I still got a few beaded bead bundles. Ruth is saying, uh, Minna is saying, Ruth Walton, how do you eat beads? I'm just having a young chicken sandwich. I don't know what this is about, but sometimes you can make the bead look thick and look really scrumptious, look really good, like sweet. Um, did you know you can tag on YouTube? Um, yes, you can. Um, if you're on a laptop, you can't tag if you're on a phone or iPad or, or anything like that. But if you're or on a desktop computer, then you can tag. Absolutely. You just do the add sign and then start typing the person's name. And then it comes up and you need to choose the one you, the person you want to, the person you want to, um, choose right so I think uh, everybody's saying hi friend welcome friend Ruth is saying oh friend is saying that would be lovely to have you visit absolutely uh, that would be fantastic so you never know one day I might take you up on it um right okay so i'm going to put this to the side i'm going to start our next bead um again so if i was making and actually i have i got some 12 mil pearls right here because i was looking at them i, I brought them home for another project so i just want to show you what i would do with this i would make five seven nine of these and then i would take one of these and I would alternate them so I would have a beaded bead and I would have the pearl another beaded bead another pearl another beaded bead another pearl and it would make a beautiful necklace and it wouldn't take you so long because properly making one of these ones they're not that intricate they're, they're quite small in design um I reckon 15 minutes you could make one no problem and if you get very familiar with the, the pattern then I think you would be down to 10 minutes so probably make a whole necklace would take you about an hour and a half and you only need to add these decoration beads at the front the rest of them can be just pearls I'm loving this one so I'm definitely I'm gonna make not because I'm wearing I mean look I'm gonna put my arm in look how good that would go with the top I'm wearing right now so that pretty much <laughs> didn't see the color pretty much oh, that's better pretty much it would it would go perfectly and i do love this top so i think i'm definitely gonna make a pair of earrings for this one right okay so i'm just gonna cut my i will work the tails off later and let's get started with our next bead now this time i'm going to include some seed beads in my triangle at the same time okay let's pull the seed beads to the side these are size 11 seed beads i think they will be the right size we could go up to size 8 oh ruth is saying that um she can tech from android too that's good. Is that your phone lovely? Um, because I can't tag on my phone. I know that. Or maybe I haven't, I haven't tried for a long time. But um, it didn't used to be. But perhaps you never know. Um, they're always updating. And this one I want to find. They're quite straight, isn't it? All my needles are bent. They're always updating YouTube, updating Facebook and all of these social apps with all sorts of um, Android phone, Ruth is saying. magic i i'm not sure if i think it's your own name it's in color so you know this is yours so when you tag somebody it's only your own name get noticed like get uh when when ruth just tagged me with this one so in the chat it will come up for me kitty robinson designs will be i think orange color and if you tag any band with us so here ruth uh, Lu Camille tagged Lucy Garrett so that doesn't come up orange for me because um, that's somebody else but when they tag you that's it comes up orange for you so there we go we learn we learn something every single day right okay so I'm going to start the process again and this time I'm going to pick up one of these lost beads a seed bead another lost bead 
another seed bead, another lost bead, and another seed bead. So I got three of each on. And I'm going to uh, turn these into a little triangle. Now I think the other one we added four units on. I'm going to go through all, all, all of the beads one more time. And then through the first bead, some away from my tail. The last time we had four beads kind of like together. I think because we're adding on the, oh look how nice this sits with the seed beads in between. That is just really, really pretty. Lucy is just from Chromebook, she's saying. Oh, hi, Robin. Uh, she said, I finally made it to a live. Well, welcome to the live, Robin. I hope you're doing all right, lovely. Um, no, actually, I hope you're doing great. <laughs> all right, great. We don't want to do all right. We want to do great. <laughs> right, okay. So, as I'm coming out of this pinched, not, not pinched beads, these lost beads, but they're the same as like pinch beads, I'm going to pick up one seed bead, one lost bead, one seed bead, one lost bead, one seed bead. So I picked up three seed beads and two lost beads and I'm going to come through this again. So my thread is exiting here at the bottom. I'm going to come from the top and pull it up nice and tight. So we're doing the same thing what we did but this time we have got those little seed beads sitting in between our other beads and I think yeah I think I'm going to do five going around I, I, I think with, with four um, it would look nice with four as well but we did four on the um, other beads so let's do five on this one sometimes uneven numbers just work a little bit better or or like a, a work a little bit like in a different way but just a little bit more pleasing to the eye um but sometimes you need even beads so let's let's try uneven so i'm gonna go i'm coming out of this middle one here i'm gonna go through a seed bead and the next pinch bead to get to the side like that and then i'm gonna pick up the same thing again so seed bead not pinch bead i'm gonna keep calling this pinch beads <laughs> And they are not pin pinch beads, they are um they are part poker beads, but they are the same shape. Um these are called elos beads and the pinch beads they are the same shape. So if you got pinch beads at home, then you could do the same pattern with it as well. But we are working from the little bundle we have got for September and October for our little creation station here. So picked up again three seed beads. Two elastic beads come exiting at the top this time. So I'm going to come from the bottom and pull this up nice and tight. And I'm going to weave my thread all the way around here because I do want an extra unit on the top of here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let that tail go now. And I'm going to come through seed bead. Lost speed. I'm going to turn it actually. Another seed bead, elos bead, and I'm going to add another more, one more unit on this one. So seed bead, elos, seed bead, loss, seed bead. I'm going to exit at the top, so I'm going to come through from the bottom. So now we have got one, two, three, four, five. So we've got our five beads, and I think five will be enough. We could try it with six. Really, we could even just pull it apart. Shall we do five or shall we do six? What shall we do? Or shall we do five? And then if we got time, we, we will have time. We'll make time. Um, we can uh, we can do six. So I'm going to do five. I'm going to come. I need to add an extra seed beads in between these two beads. So I'm going to go and weave my thread around and an extra one at the bottom. So I'm going to come. If this, this is my middle, I'm facing out. I'm going to pick up one seed, one he lost one seed and come up on the other side. And then I'm going to pick up one seed and go down. This would actually make a nice little earring as well. And there we go. And now I, before I go any further, I think I'm going to go in and I'm going to sew these five seed bits together. So I'm just going to come around following any thread path I had previously. And I'm going to tighten up those seed beads in the middle. And actually we could add the seed beads 
on first for the next unit. And we're going to repeat this for every single one of those units where we started the seed beads. And then we see where we get with them. I'm coming through there. So I'm going to go through these two. So I'm just sewing these five seed bits together. Maybe six would have looked better. Maybe. I don't know. We try, we try it later. And then I'm going to go out. It doesn't matter which one you go out. Any of them will do. So, to building the pattern, we could either, like, if I pop it down. So we've got five, five of these here. They, they're going to slightly turn at the moment. But we've got five of this here. And we need to repeat this five to have it here. Now, we already got one, two, three. So we just need to add two more units. Now, there is two ways we could go about this. We could go and add the middle. We could add the seed beads in. So maybe that way it's easier we got we can anchor ourselves into the seed bead itself. Or we could do the same thing, that to add the units to the Elos beads themselves all the way around. I'm going to do, I'm going to try to anchor it to the seed beads because that will might, might be makes it a little bit quicker so i'm just going to come through that seed bead i'm going to pick up another three because i know i'm going to have to sew around five and come through these two again so i just added my middles in and actually i could add the middles in in every single unit um going around and then add the beads so i'm going to come through the next seed bead and actually this is going to make actually sense it's going to be it's going to speed it up i'm going to come to the next seed bead i'm going to pick up an elos i'm going to pick up a seed another elos and another seed and i'm going to come through this one back towards myself so from the top towards the bottom and that will add our next unit. And and normally we'd have had to weave our thread around to this bead here. But because we already got our middle beads, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through the next two seed beads. So one. And then one more. Just like that. And I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to pick up one Elos. One seed, one elos, one a seed. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. So I'm as exiting towards me. I'm going to come through this bead here, just on the other side. And actually in the same sort of stitch, I could come through that seed bead itself as well. And pull this up nice and tight. So can you see we have got our five here as well. This would actually mean could make a nice flat pattern. We could do it for for a necklace. We could do like not perhaps these beads, but uh, maybe pearls. Right. So I'm gonna what I love to do. So I got my five, and I got this middle seed bit here. So I need to add another unit, another unit in here to complete the triangle for this. The first one and this last one. So I'm going to come through the seed bead. And I'm going to come through the elos bead. I'm going to pick up a seed, elos seed. And I'm going to come back through just here. And into the seed bead itself. As well at the top. And pull this up nice and tight. So I've got two units now. And it has started to curve a little bit. So what I need to do now, I'm going to weave my thread here and I'm going to add another two seed beads into that unit so I can add another, they look like flowers really, <laughs> so another little flower with those beads. And here we already have got, can you see we already got, when we're going to add this one, it's curling quite nicely. We already got one, two, three, four, so we only need to add one more onto the top of there. Right, I'm just going to move this along just like that. So I'm going to weave my thread following any thread path down here. And I'm going to, I need to sew these three seed beads together and add two seed beads on. So I'm going to go through one, two, just like that. I'm going to pick up another two. 
and come through this one. So one, I'm actually going to go through all three of them to form them into a nice circle. And I, I can already feel that this is cupping over my finger here. I'm not sure how I can pick it up so you can see it. But can you see it's already sort of started that that round shape. So we need to add another pinch, not pinch bead, elastic bead, same thing. <laughs> Coming through the seed bead on my circle, I'm going to pick up an elos, a seed, another elos, and another seed. And I'm going to come through this bead right here. So I'm sort of circling on myself. And we are in the same position again, but this time we got. If you look at the above, we got one, two, three, four, five. So we just need to add an extra one in here. And so this bead to this seed bead and this bead to this seed bead to, to complete the triangle there. Um, Lindsay is saying, love watching different ways to do a beaded beads. I would have started with five seed beads. Be they're all different. Um, they're testing, are we still going to use paprika beads next week? Yes, we are. Um, that that will be, I think, the last week. So you're gonna, we're gonna have to. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna have to have to. I really wanted to have a go at this one. So tonight is me, but next week you can all decide which bead we're gonna use for the last time. And then in November, December time, we're going into Christmas decorations. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be adding bits of. So Simon's gonna be adding bits of pieces to the website. Um, we got a green and red bead collection like acrylic bead collection which we're going to be adding and I'm, i'll probably i'll get him to make up a silver and gold one as well because that would look really good we're going to be playing with those and then um christmas charms um i went through the list with him last week i don't think he added it on yet but i went through the list with him and that was done and it's really really cupping into a ball now but um, we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be just doing Christmas bits of pieces. Right, I'm going to go to the seed bead and the next seed bead. I'm going to pick up another two seed bead. And I'm just going to repeat the same process again. Um, how many do we want? Going round. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five going to do five and then we have to pull it in on the other side right okay so I'm gonna I just added the two seed beads I'm gonna come out the first seed bead I'm gonna go around until I come out the first seed bead which hasn't got the elos bead sewn to it and I'm gonna pick up an elos I'm gonna pick up a seed and another elos and another seed. And I'm just going to come through this one right here. And again, we are in that position that we got one, two, three, four, five. And we just need to add the bead missing on the outer circle there. So I'm going to come through the seed beads. Just like that. And this one down on the side. I know like this might look a little bit difficult pattern, but once you do it, like this is one of those light bulb moments, like you will have an, and it just clicks in and you can just go round and round and round. Remember, you're always sewing six beads together. So three elastic beads or pinch beads and three seed beads. And that's all you're doing all the way around so if you think if there's an extra seed bead or an extra list beads then then you went some wrong you're always sewing seed elos seed elos seed elos um together and if you do that you will be fine right so this one is completed as well then i'm going to go into the next one might, might as well do this one here it doesn't really matter it's copying over my finger really nicely oh, let's go that way and I'm going to pick up another two seed bead. I think definitely I'm going to have to find something. Well, we got two options here. Once we finish this, we either find another bead 
to put inside it which is going to make really solid or we're going to have to keep going round and round and round and stiffen it up until it becomes nice and tight um, i'm not sure what size bead we will be able to fit in it maybe a 12 mil will do actually maybe one of these will be able to fit inside and that would be the right side but let's just go and see sometimes it's nice to add a bead inside it so it keeps it nice and tight oh hi Kalisi and hi Kitty hope you're well I'm very well thank you I hope you are well too as well how are you doing let us know are you doing any lives at the moment so Kelly is doing um I'm just gonna pop this up so this is this is my friend Kelly she is from South Africa and she does a lot of card making and well all sorts of different cra crafts um really so do do check her out as well and again I got five there so all is left to add the outer edge of that one so I'm just weaving my thread around It's looking like a football, absolutely, DC. Well, let me know if you just joined in. Let me know what you've been up to this week, what you've been beading, crafting. It doesn't just have to be beading, I guess. Anything. Let me know what have you been up to. Right, and I'm going out. So you can see, like here, like let's put it here. So I got four seed beads here. And I got two here, I got three here, I got three there, three there, and two there. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to add an extra, I only have to add one seed bit in there, but it's really curling into a ball now. So I just want to hold it so that you can see it. So I'm going to finish in going around this bit. And I am wondering, no, no, not yet. We don't have to join up with the other side yet. So one seed bead and I'm going to sew all of these four together and then we're going to repeat. Now actually we've got five, look. We've got all five petals there already. So that's actually worked out quite nice. And we just need to add, so can you see we've got one, two, three, four, five. We just need to add the missing one on here. And I think we're pretty much like very close to closing our bead up. So I'm going to grab one of those 12 mil pearls actually and try it out to stuff it inside it just to see what would it uh, look like. There we go. So we're going to have to this now we're going to, we're going to have to add another unit in here. So finish that one and that will be the end finish that one so there's four there that will be the end there's four here and we need to add a fifth one so they're going to be another not a lot there all right let's have a look at this 12 mil pearl if i stick this into it i think that actually sits quite nicely inside just to, just to hold it hold it shape now, if you want to use this as a big beaded bead on a lariat or a longer necklace, I think that would look really good. Oh, Kelly, she's just she's just rubbing into it. She's a little sunburned today. Reach strong, making uh, some fun Halloween decor at the moment. I have live on Tuesday in the circuit Facebook group, which is I'm going to prep for soon. Um, so she's going into her summer as we're going into our winter, isn't it? Because she's yeah, she's on the other side of the world. Um. I am I, I am a little jealous for everybody who's going into summer. I love, love, love summer. So I'm going to come around following any threat path I have to come up to complete this top part. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to come up through this seed. I'm going to pick up another two because I got three there already. So I'm going to pick up another two and sew this into a little circle then i'm gonna have to i got one two three four it lost bead there so i'm gonna have to add another one just came through the seed bead picking up illos seed illos seed i'm exiting sort of at the bottom i'm gonna come through this bead actually i'm gonna come through the seed bead as well at the same time saving me not pulling it through not having to pull it through so much and then I'm saying saving me time and my thread just getting a knot 
that then it's twists. It's usually karma, isn't it? So then now I got all five of them together. All I'm missing, I got one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing the outer bead from there. So I'm going to take my thread around that side. I'm going to pick up a seed, Elos seed. And see, every single one of them has got the outer one, but this one hasn't. I'm going to come through here to add that in. And we are closing in more and more. Can you see? We're only missing a few more beads. And then I'm going to weave my thread around. So can you see? I got four beads here. I need to add the fifth one in here. So I'm just going to come around to my next point. I'm going to go through these three. I'm going to pick one up because every in every place I want to see five seed beads together with five petals. Whichever way I'm turning it, I always want to see five seed beads together. Now I got my middle here and I got one, two, three, four, five petals already. So all I need is the outer, the, the one which is missing from here. So I'm going to come around. I'm going to go into the seed bead, into the Elos. I'm going to pick up a seed bead, Elos seed. And then come through, come up through this. So I'm just complete, completing that. So when I pull this tight, can you see? Like we are got our next little flower, I guess, assorted. So I'm going to move along. Just get the tail out of the way, right in the way. I'm going to move along. And as I'm facing this way, I'm going to come up and around. I want to come around to this four. So I'm going to come through the, through the seed bead, the Elos, just following my thread path around and going into this. I'm going to sew these four together and add my fifth one in. Now this is by, right by where we started because my tail is there. Oh, it's really saying sorry. Oh, don't be, don't be sorry. Um, I, I did burn myself in the summer and I did look like a lobster. Because I did go out there when I was out there maybe about two or three hours. And... Um, I came in and it was it was like here, like in the summer, it can be like warm, like it, it's not going to be too hot, but sometimes it can be like nice and warm on the sun. But if you still get the wind off the sea and what happens is that um, you sit outside and you don't feel hot, you don't feel that you're burning. And actually, and in fact, like you can, I can catch the sun quite quickly. So I, I have been red as a lobster this summer. Right now, again, if you look at this unit, and I know that tail is in the Y, we got one, two, three, four, five, but we're missing the one of the outer ones. So I'm going to weave my thread there. I like it with five beads. I don't think you need six. What do you think? Like in the beginning, we were discussing if you're going to do five or six beads. And then I'm going to come through just from the other side, completing that. And with that, I think we have completed all we are missing is we're missing a seed bead here, we're missing a seed bead here, and we're missing a seed bead here, and we need to sew the seed beads together here, here, and here, and with that we will be zipped up. So I'm just going to go along and going to go up here. I'm going to add an extra seed bead to this little rounds here because there's four there already so I'm just going to add in the fifth one just like that and then I'm going to go along to the next unit and add an extra one in there just like that and then an extra one for the last let me just add these together. I'm getting ahead of myself. And I need an extra seed bead in this rounds as well, sewing them together. Mm 
Kelly's saying five is definitely beautiful. Absolutely. I, I do love um, sometimes for some things, even number works, but sometimes uneven numbers work so much better. Especially if you're doing like a necklace, when you do like uneven at the front, there is always one in the middle. Just picking up that last seed bead. Now I would probably go around and do exactly the same thing. Like I need to sew these together. That's my very, very last thing to do. But I would, until I have thread left or I don't come along a bead, which is... No, I just move this. These are the ones I'm going through until I come along a bead which I cannot can no longer go through because it's so full of thread. Then I would just keep going round to stiffen it. I think that looks quite nice. I really do because you've got that bead in it. It's not so. It's not so bad. It's it's quite. It's, it stands out quite and. Um, the only thing I think because we got the bead like yes so because you got that bead inside you know these have got like three sides the flat side wants to be inside towards the bead so if you didn't have the bead perhaps it would sit nicer i'm not sure let me just go through a few more beads just to go around it a little bit to tighten it up and then we see every single time i go obviously i pull harder and harder tighter and tighter to have a nice attention on the bead. There we go. Ruthie is saying it's pretty. I, I love it. Um, Gwenny thinks she's going to try them. Yeah, please do. Because I, I think sometimes, like even if you just make a, a strong necklace, you want to make something quite simple and not not everything has to be like take forever but if you do one of these little elements just to add one bead to it one beaded bead which might have taken you like this one is probably take a little longer might have taken you half an hour to do um can we add can we add the crystal no they're too small i think we need six seed beads if we want to add the crystal because otherwise and let me turn it to the side can you see i think it would sit out too much so um the crystal is too big for the middle but um just had a, a, a side idea here but it's so nice to have one focal point something which is just a little bit you know a little bit more intricate You could have this as a pendant as well, of course. You could have this as an earring. Maybe a, li a little bit too big for me as an earring. The other one. Where did, it, where, where did I put the other one? The other one was like less than half the size of it, isn't it? I wonder, I wonder if you made this with seed beads, how would that look? Shall we have a little try to make a smaller one with seed beads in between? We've got plenty of time. And I got plenty of one his here. Well, I might actually grab, because this was in the earth colorway, I might actually grab the sky colorway we had from the other bundle. But all I would do now is just go round and round. I'm not even paying attention. What corners or where am I going? I'm just going around. Each time I'm pulling the thread tighter and tighter, tightening my bead up. I'm going to pop this to the side, because I can do this later on. And then we're going to go ahead and let's try a little bead. Because this one is a five. Each, each one of them we're sewing together triangles. But this one was a five bead one. And if we did, the other one is, was a four bead one. If we did that, I wonder how would that look. So I'm going to go back and do this. Just with like in seed beads in between, and I think if we add the seed beads, we won't need the crystals on it at all. But let's have a look at the old oh, Lucy pop the link in for the bundles, and I think they're still on offer. There's thirty percent off of the the whole bundle, which is like for Parpuka is pretty much unheard of because they never you never really get a good um like we we can't do a good discount on Parpuka, I guess. Because they they are really expensive beads, but they are so nice. Like you know, they are really nice shapes. They are quite good quality. 
Right, okay, so I'm going to pop this to the side and we're going to make this guy bead instead of having the crystals with the seed beads in between. I kind of like this side. I'm definitely going to make earrings out of these ones, but I'm going to see how it does. Let's cut my thread. How it does? How does it look like with the seed beads if you make a smaller bead? Right, trying to find a straight-ish needle but so many right this this one is straight-ish it's not too bad is it so let me go with that one oh just for the lost beads uh, um you can buy them separately as well if you just want one type of it now we have done many lives with this uh playing with this bundle doing all sorts of different making all sorts of different patterns and I probably got one, two, three, four. I, I think I got four bracelet patterns, which later on I'm going to turn into bracelets. I got a couple of pendants out of it as well. So we always kind of like working together, designing together with the bundle. And I will get Simon to sort the Christmas one out for us ASAP. Actually, probably will be Scott next week to have all the Christmas products in there for us. Right, there we go. Managed to thread my needle. So we're gonna start with four, but it was a three pinch bead, but we're gonna have four sides. So um, let me just have a look. I don't think he, I'm, I'm just curious if he added on that because I haven't been in the warehouse at all this week. So we, I'm already in half them. So the kids are at home. And just been home all the all week, so I haven't really um sorry beads, where are we? Creation station, there we are. Um no he hasn't hasn't added um November, December yet, but I'll, I will make sure that he does that very soon. So I'm gonna start with the seed. Elos seed, Elos seed. Yes, we're going to start the same way, just picking up those. And I'm going to go through all of these beads to sew them into a lovely little triangle. Louise is saying the bundle is really worth the money. Absolutely, you get so much. You get 15 different shapes in the bundle. And that's like that. That's what we do. That's the beauty of it, that you get to play with so many and do all sorts of different patterns. I've been playing with it and it, this creation station, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna give you a pattern and that's it. We, we evolve the pattern together as we go along. Um, what about the two millimeter crystal? Yeah, um, I haven't got any two mil crystals um, to put in the middle. I know exactly what you mean, um, Sheila. If I haven't got any two mil round ones, I think maybe, um, Maybe rondels. I got two more rondels, but right. Let's let's crack on with this one, and then we can have a think about that again. So I'm on this. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do pick up uh, as I did it with the five five sided one for the four sided one to start with. So one seed, one elos, one seed, one elos, one seed. I'm gonna come through this bead again, just like that, and then I'm gonna go along. And add another go to the next seed bead and inner speed and I'm gonna add another side so we had five petals in the previous one here we're just gonna have fours so seed inos seed inos seed come I'm exiting at the bottom coming from the top and then I'm gonna go ahead and I need to add another one in here. So I'm going to weave my thread all the way around. I'm going to, once I come out of this one, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, go out through that one and add the outer seed in our seed. And I need to actually sew those four seed beads together as well in the middle. Maybe I should start with the seed beads, like just just having sewing the four seed beads together, and then 
start adding gloss with that that could be like the, like to sew the same thing there is so many different thread paths you could take and some of them are easier some of them are a little harder but there is so so many different ways you can get the same look so i'm gonna come into the middle and i'm actually as i'm pulling this tight i'm gonna go through those four seed beads there just to sew them together to tighten and just pricked my hand well not too much <laughs> thankfully i've been stabbing myself so much lately as well and coming to the last seed bead so if the once you go through these seed beads they just sit together so nicely i come to this one and go out and there we go and now i think that's quite pretty as well so now we're going to repeat having four petals here and we've got, already got one, two, three. So I'm going to go along, I'm going to go towards the top, let's say, and pull this up nice and tight. Again, seed, elos, seed, hold on, I just pinged the bead away, elos, Seeds, so I've got three seeds and two elosses. I'm exiting at the top. I'm going to come from the bottom. Pull this up nice and tight. And again, I need to add the extra seed beads in here. I need to add the, if I look at, if you look at it above, there is the triangles are there. Where this triangle is missing the bottom part. So I'm going to weave my thread around. Just following any existing thread path. When I get towards the middle, I'm going to pick up a seed and exit out. This one here, this guy here, pull this up nice and tight. I'm going to add the missing one in here. So I'm going to go seed elos seed i'm gonna come up into the middle and i'm gonna start going around those seed beads in the middle there so sewing them together there we go i like this four bead version like four of them coming together and not because it's like quicker than the other one so again i'm going to put it down so we got one side here which is not completed we got the next side which is completed and the next side is missing so i think overall are we i think we're only missing one bead now from the whole beaded bead What do you think? Do let me know in the comments if you like this version, which this one which we done the first time, but we didn't um, we didn't add the seed beads in then, so we're just adding seed beads in between now. I think this could look good too as well. So every I'm just going around and wherever I'm missing a seed bead. But there's only three i'm other going to add the extra one so i just added it right here by my tail and then i'm gonna go in as you can see we're still missing just one bead here so i'm gonna go in this guy pick up a seed in us seed come back through the other side to con to complete our circle then just coming up to the next section i'm missing a seed bead from here as well so i'm gonna go towards one day one two seed bead pick up another one and come back through there we go and now 
Let me just turn it. Oh, we're still missing one seed bead there and a seed bead there as well. Can you see? Because there's only three and three. So I'm going to go around this. That doesn't matter which side you go around first, I guess. I'm going to add the missing seed bead in there. And then the missing seed bead on the next side. Just sewing it together. This version seems easier to follow. I think because we have got the seed beads, because in the last version where we didn't have the seed beads, we just had the thread paths. So here, you know, if you're seeing three seed beads, you know you need to add the fourth one. So sometimes changing things like that can make life so much easier. Just by adding a seed beads in and you, you would think it's more difficult because now you have to not just the lost beads or pinch beads, you have to think about the seed beads as well. But sometimes it makes it, it like, for example, doing bead crocheting and doing it with six different colors. And I just need to sew these three together. Those are my very, very last ones. Six different colors is much harder, but in fact, it's much easier because you're connecting colors with colors. And if you are not picking up the same, not working with the bead, what you are kind of like hooking under, then you are, then you've gone wrong somewhere. So sometimes more, it's easier to work with more than less. Right. With that, I have completed this little bead as well. I quite like to see the beads, but now we definitely haven't got the space to add a crystal on top because if I turn it sideways, it will just sit on top of the seed beads and kind of like bubbling out with it. But I don't think you need it. The only way you could add a crystal, if you picked up a crystal, and let's assume I'm adding on a head pin to make into an earring and you can pick up and add a crystal to the top as well. But before I do that, I would do the same thing. I would go around and just sew this bead, strengthen it. I haven't added anything into the middle so either. So this one is quite nice and empty. Just really strengthen it. Now let me know in the chat if you have made anything really lost or pinch beads. And if you got a picture, then, then please do send it through so I can show it off to everybody as well. I'm just going to go to the next few beads. And as I said, I do this until I either run out of thread or I get to a bead which I no longer can put my needle through. So I do use quite, like, you know, I use the thread up just to really make this nice and solid and not, not squidgy at all. I love these Elos beads. I think they look... They look really nice. There is something about them because they like kind of like three sided. They always kind of like sit in a certain way, aren't they? Like in your in your pattern. I think they would sit nicely. In with if it had like a pearl as well, because it would. Ooh, just thinking we have got the saddle beads. Mine, they might sit nice with that one as well from the August pack. I'm just going to keep going around. Right. What shall we do next? Do let me know if you if you should try something else with this Elos beads. I'm kind of thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking to do a pendant. And I might, might grab some pearls because I think they would sit really nicely so if you got if you got these pearls here i'm just going to grab this one they would and then we need smaller one but they might sit really nicely just like that in there and we could add some seed beads or bits of pieces in it i'm not quite sure how i would sit it but i think or around it 
on the top of a big pearl. Ooh, that would look good as well. I think they would sit nicely there as well for a pendant. Right, let's 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 have a little palais. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this through a few more beads. And um I'm gonna need to grab some more seed beads out of my pot and we're gonna have a little play. I am not sure actually have I got any more of the yes, I got more of these beads. I got another bag. I'm kind of running out. I need the third bead. Well, I'm going to pop this to the side and I'm going to come back and finish this off. But what do we think? Do we like the one with the seed bead better or the one with the crystals? Do let me know which one you prefer, seed bead or crystals. Which one? I think we found that the seed beads was easier to follow and do. But I, I do love the crystal one. There's something about the simplicity of that one. Um... Please try to incorporate some saddle beads. I've got some left. If I can put my hand on it, <laughs> then I will do. I think I left some here. Have I got some? Oh, yes, I have got some. I think the smaller size. Smaller size, and I'm going to grab another bag. This I like the crystal one better, Lucy is saying. I was going to be the long, but pizza and sidetracked me. Sorry, oh bless you. You you are um I put all my beads down. Oh bless you. Well, I put all my beads down if I had pizza as well. Don't worry, Ruth, you know on your own. I love a pizza. I don't know when last time we had like Pizza, pizza. Like you, you, you like get frozen pizza for the kids. But um, really and truly, like I love, I love takeaway pizza. We all eat. I don't know. It was in the summer, I think, the last time we had. We had it. Right. Let me just take a bead out. So this is was from the August Mac. They the saddle beads. They are available separately on the website as well. But I, I got a couple of ideas what I got in my head right now. And I just want to take a bead. Just because Dorothy's got some left. And see how they would. So because the hole is on there like that. The hole is like this on this. So they will. Uh -huh. But then this is a triangle. So... I have to I have to have a little think about this how this is all gonna fit together because this is needs to fit kind of like a wedge in bit oh sorry I'm completely off camera there I'm so so sorry um kind of like a wedge in between so I think um we need to create some sort of thread path there but the other idea why I had is to have a pearl and actually we might be yes we might be able to add it in then okay so threading needle <laughs> threading a new needle and having a go at this because i think this is going to look really cute i mustn't i don't know if you've seen the post the facebook the facebook post i put up last week i had <laughs> so much thread like, like i started so much project like this and i put it to the side and I was trying to sort it out. And as I picked it up, it was just, that was just a lot of thread. <laughs> a lot of thread tangled up together. So I'm going to start. And I reckon I can get... Actually, I'm not going to cut the tail off yet. So I reckon I can get... I'm going to go through this 12 millimeter pearl. I'm going to pick up a seed bead. One of these Elos beads. Who's running away from me, this one? There we go. I'm going to pick up another two seed beads. Another Elos bead. Another two seed beads. Another Elos and a single seed bead. I just want to see how much is this pattern going to hug the pearl. So I think it's going to be too big. 
even before I go through this. Oh, well, maybe not. I'm going to come through the pearl from the tail end. No, maybe not. And I'm going to repeat this one more time to add one onto the other side. So, oh, I didn't want to. No, I didn't go through the seed bit. That's right. So, one seed, one elos, two seed, another elos, another two seed, another elos, and one seed. And again, I'm going to come from the tail end. I'm going to come through this bead just like that and pull this up nice and tight and now I'm going to run around just the beads themselves so I'm going to start off to one side and pull this tight and when I get to the top I'm just going to go straight across the hole and into the other loop And pull this nice and tight. It might be too big. You might have to reduce the seed beads just to one. But I think we will be fine. Might pull this up nice and tight. Plus I should have knot my tail end together. So let's go up to the top. And again straight across the bottom hole. I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to knot my tail and then my work again together because I don't want this to come undone. I think that looks... I'll just go around one more time and then it will pull the loop. I think that looks quite... I don't like to knot my tail and then my working end together because if the knot seeps into one of the seed beads then I definitely won't be able to go that seed bead again but if the knot if, if, if I go through one more time then that seems to right so what I want to do now I'm just gonna come in between those two seed beads I think what we need to add now is to add some sort of some sort of seed beads going in between or some some sort of loops. These guys, if you want to include these guys, they need to sit they would need to sit on top. You want to sit them on top of the seed beads. So if I ignore the seed beads, and just pick up the pinch beads on the top of the seed beads. I don't know the pinch beads, these saddle beads, these little crystals. I think that, but then again, it might pull it out too much. What do we think? I think we need something else in between. I like how the pinch beads are like sort of sitting on the pearl itself. Like they're flat, one side is flat. If I had one, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, maybe. So let's do a little loop. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, I reckon seven. I'm going to pick up seven seed beads and I'm going to loop back just like that. So I'm going to come through the seed bead, Elos seed bead unit. And I'm just going to have these seven seed beads sitting on the top. And now I'm going to go ahead the next seed bead, Elos seed bead unit, and I'm going to pick up six seed beads next. So I'm going to pull this, and I'll be able to pull that in. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to come down through this very last seed bead here and then into the same seed bead, Elos seed bead unit. I wonder if we should have add the, added the pearl last. Add the seed beads first and add the pearl last. Then I'm going to go along the next seed, Elos seed. 
and pick up a further six seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, I'm going to borrow one seed bead from the previous loop and then go through the seed, Elos seed unit. I just came through just like that. Go through the next unit to be in position, position to add more beads. Picking up six seed beads again and coming down to the seed bead And fine, oh no, we've got two more loops. So I'm gonna go along and repeat adding six seed beads again. On the final one, I'm only gonna to have to add five because I will be borrowing one seed bead from either loop on either side. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So I'm gonna go seed, elos, seed, and I'm gonna come up through the very first seed bead of that loop there. Let me just get this out of the way because the cameras keep trying to focus on it. Zoom in a little more. There we go. And I'm going to pick up five seed beads this time. I'm going to come back down on the very last seed beads of the loop before and just into the Seed, Elo Seed, the unit I have created. So we just created, oh, and I caught, my, <laughs> I caught my clasp on my, um, there we go, the thread of my clasp of my bracelet. So what did we do? We just kind of created like a seed bead crown on the, get this tail out of the way, on the top of our beads. And I think what would look really, we could, if we created this crown on the other side as well, obviously it would it would become um, it would become two sided. But I think I might just leave the back as it is, and now we're gonna go into these loops we just created, and we can either add another pinch bead in, which will sit just there. Or let me just pop, pop the pinch bead there. So we can either add another pinch bead or we can add a crystal. I think crystal would look nicer, but do let me know pinch bead or crystal. What do we want? What do we what do we want to add in the little corners of our little loops we created? Do let me know in the chat if you want to see a crystal. It's pretty much the same color, but the crystals are there. Or do you want to see a seed bead? No seed bead, a crystal. Crystal or elos bead? Lucy saying crystal. I wonder if these, but I don't think they're gonna sit nicely on the top. Eh, maybe. I think the crystal is this same crystal as well? So, if you look at it from above, we have got one, two, three, four, five seed beads exposed on each one of those loops. So, I think we're going to have to go through... So, if we wanted to go... Let me just weave my thread up. So if we just wanted to go through the middle seed bead, I'm just going to come through the middle of the five, so the third one of the five, what you see, because obviously two two of them are sharing there at the bottom. Now if I just added the middle, I'm, I'm just going to pick up a crystal. I think the crystal will be too small. We need a bigger crystal. And I go through the middle one on the next loop. And I'm going to pull this nice and... Maybe not, but maybe we need a four mil. I'm going to add the three mil in and we see how we go. But like just on my gut feeling, I think I need a four mil there. We will see. I can always very quickly take it back. Oh, this would make a beautiful ring as well, wouldn't it? 
So I'm just going to add those crystals in. Yeah, it's pulling it's pulling it towards the front. So I can see already that it's pulling it towards the front. Yeah, just a few more crystals. I'm going to need one size bigger. And there we go. Can you see like it's pulling it onto it? Like hiding up and then you see more and more of the pearl on the other side. So three mil, definitely. This looks beautiful, but um, not for that side of pearl. I think if you don't add the pearl in the middle and let's just add the let's let's just add the pinch beads and then we decide what size pearl we or what we can add in the middle. So, um, I think this one, this one's gonna. I'm gonna grab a four mil. Add the four mil in. Let's take this three mil out. I'm gonna add the four mil in, and then we re. We still got time. We very quickly gonna reverse engineer the it from the outside, and then we see we might end up with something different. Done. The only way we could add this, or oh maybe we could, if we didn't go from the middle seed bead. But we went from the fourth one and then picked up the three mil crystal and then didn't just went to one middle, but went through three seed beads at the same time. And then that push it there. That that the only way we can that's the only way we can use the three mils. There we go. Yeah, that will work. Because now can you see it's not pulling it apart, it's keeping it kind of like the right, the right size. Or change to a four mil. That would that would work as well. But I'm gonna try it from without the pearl in the middle and start just with the pinch beads. Not pinch beads, elos beads. I got elos beads, but they're the same as the pinch beads. You know me. Darker speeds, I used to call them acorns for a long time, and I'm still call them acorns. Just what comes to mind, I guess. Right, and the last one. And then it kind of keeps it open a little bit more as well. So I think I quite like that. And it, then we have added, like if I look at it from that angle, we have added a crown for our pearl. Now I'm not sure. I think I, I like, oh, you could use this as a ring. You could use this in, if you made it two-sided, you could use it as an earring. You could use it as a little pendant. I think it would look really nice as a little pendant as well. Just make a little bail. Um, all sorts of things you could do with it. I would go around and tidy. Let's, let's just, let me just run around this in a circle one more time to pull this up really nice and tight and pull it into shape. There we go. Just like that, every single time I'm going through the seed beads, I'm just pulling it tighter. But then equally, we could have, instead of adding seven seed beads at the start, if I added nine seed beads and made the loop bigger to start with, then probably going through every middle seed bead would be enough. But I think this one looks quite pretty as it is. What do we think? What? Let me know in the chat, what would you use? What we made our little... I would use it as a pendant. I think it would look really cute as a pendant. I would go up the top here and I would add, I would add some, I would add like a nice little loop. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So as I'm coming out of that bead there, I'm gonna pick up one, two, three, four, five, probably about 15. Well, there's different, different, loops we can do. So let's say 15. And take these down. 
and then I would go and um, sew down one of these seed beads here. And if my thread it wouldn't be naughty, and I could just pull that little loop up. I don't know what's going on with my thread. I think an earring Truth is saying, Ruth is saying yes, a pendant. So let's just cut this tail because it's keep just in our way. There we go. Like somehow ended up. Just pull that up nice and tight. And I would go around actually the, the whole pendant itself and then go through the loop again. So I would just run around. I'm going to run around the back side here. All of the elos and seeds. Yeah, we, we have been through those beads a few times, so some of them might be harder to go through. I do. I have, I have started using size 11 needles. So usually we use size 10 or use size 12. The size 10 is probably the one we use most, but um, we have introduced or in this color eye needles on the website and they are really good. They're really good to work with. I find size 12 needles because I grip on them so much that they bend so easily, but sometimes size 10 is just too fat, too, too big to get through the beads as many times as I need to. So I started using this size 11 one and I know it's size 11 because can you see it's got like turquoise, turquoise um, color eye on there. I just got myself into a knot. Let's get rid of this knot. There we go. And um, as I'm coming through, I'm going to get to my loop. I'm not going to double up this loop. I could do like have like a herringbone little loop, but I'm just going to leave it nice and um, just a single seed bead sometimes is enough it's a little simple one maybe 15 was too much maybe I should I would have got away with 11 or 13 I'm just gonna get to the front and as I was picking up these seed beads I was coming up this side I'm gonna go towards the other side there we go I'm just going to come to this very last seed bead. And as I'm going to, can you see like we connected it onto this side? So I'm going to connect it to the other side. And that will centralize our loop. So it won't look wonky anymore. Let's go through. those beads and see when I pulled it tight it just centralized it and it become a really nice loop so I'm going to run around this inner circle again just to strengthen it and then all it's left to do is to work or thread off I think that's a nice little cute pendant quite quite easy technique as well um we could do so many different colors of this one Oh, that's an idea. Might, might be another Victoria Cassandra pendant pack coming. You never know. I think that looks really cute. I think it needs a little bit of perfecting, but I think I think it looks really cute. What what do we think? The crystals needs to be a different color. From, and can you see the pinch beads, how nicely one flat side is always to the pearl itself. I think the, the crystals needs to be a different color to kind of like shine up a little bit more. Ruth is saying so pretty, thank you. 
but there's so many different things we could do. I think they would be nice as a little um, pendant pack because you could make so many of these. Like this, you need so little materials for this, so so little. I'll I'll, I'll have a little play with this because I think this definitely got some mileage in it as well. Well, so is all the other stuff what we have been making. Um, I'm not sure about the 12 millimeter pearl. I think we might need something else in the middle. Might need either a, I don't know, some, something a little bit flatter perhaps. Not sure. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a little play, but I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put this on my tray and have a, have a little play. So we made this little beauty tonight. We done this beautiful beaded bead. It's got 12 millimeter pearl inside it as well to keep it nice and stiff. We need this little one, and I do like this one without the seed beads. I do like the one with just for the crystals. With the one with seed beads, I do like this one as well. I love, I love, love beaded beads. Which one is your favorite? So the pendant, the large bead, Small with seed beads, small with crystals. Let me know in the chat which one is your favorite. Oh, Kelly saying, so pretty. Reminds me of a turtle. Absolutely. It does look like that a little bit. If you had a little head, we could add a little feet to it as well. All sorts of little things. Are there turtles where you are, Kelly? Um, I actually don't know where, like, where, but I know that like, in the Seychelles and Mauritius and like there is loads of turtles like that way. Are there turtles where you are? Those beads fits nice. Lucy's saying very cute. Oh, thank you, Lucy. Lucy's saying such a lovely queer sensation. My favorite is the large football. So we're gonna we're gonna this is gonna be our football bead. Small with crystal. Ruth is saying that was the first one. I like the little one with the crystal too, she's saying. I love it too. Oh, Kelly's saying no turtles. Here we have penguins. They're, oh, I love penguins. I really, really do love penguins. And then my Lucy, she's like 14 and a half now. 14 and a half. Like, not just 14, she's 14 and a half. That's how she identifies herself. This half a year is such, such a lot, such a lot in age, isn't it? But um, when she was little, when she was like three, three and a half, and we, she used to go to nursery, she used to keep drawing and painting penguins. She loved penguins as well. I mean, I think I love the pendants. Um, when he's saying it's so hard to choose, small seed bead one, surely saying that's her favorite. I think that was the, we agreed that this was easier to make than the crystal version. Robin's saying I love them all. Um... Oh, oh, Ruth is saying, OMG, yes. Danny or Cape Dan, I remember penguins. Oh, bless. Yeah, we love we love penguins. Maybe we need to do a bead penguin. We need to do like a bead, bead, beaded animal sort of things. And we need to do a penguin. You could do, <laughs> I'm already thinking how you could do a penguin. You could do with, um, obviously it has to be black and white. Do penguins come in other colors, actually? Or are they just black and white? We could do like a longer body, a beaded bead longer body for, and then maybe some white ones, white body, and maybe some um, black ones for the wings and little feet. We could, we could absolutely do. Uh, Kelly's saying, yes, she's in Cape Town. So uh, Kelly Roof is, she lives in the UK now, but she, I, I hope you still, uh, don't mind me saying this, but Ruth was uh, born in Africa and um, she lived there. I'm, I'm not sure how many, how old she was when she moved back to the UK, but. Sorry, we, I oh, couldn't. <laughs> my wife started talking, but we always hear some really beautiful stories from her, um, from her time, much love time in um, Africa. Some of them have some color accents. Ooh, I'm gonna have to Google this penguins. I'm gonna have to look at all the different colors. Right, okay, so next week is our last week to uh, play with all these beautiful bundles and I'm not gonna get all the beads out. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more of it. I'm not gonna get it all out, but next week is our last week to play with these beautiful bundles. And then we're gonna, so do have a look at it on the um, website. Lucy has added all the, there's 15 different shapes in here. And there is, there is the Elos, what we've been using from the earth 
and there is in the sky a beautiful silver color so do you have a look at that on the website 30 percent off right now which um, is going to go back up to normal price when we start the next um come on camera focus on me when we start the next um next lot of beading and we're going to be doing Christmas, so we're going to be using Christmas charms, we're going to be using um, the acrylic packs, we're going to be making, I, I made the Christmas wreath with it last year, and I think I want to do something wreathy with it again this year, but I'm not sure, we're going to do all sorts of different things. And then might even add some wire in there, so we could do maybe a glad or some sort of thing, so we're going to be busy with uh, some Christmas stuff, so every single Sunday, on um november and i think there is two or perhaps three sundays in december and then we're going to close down for two weeks so i'm, I'm going to disappear for not, not disappearing but like disappear from the cameras for two weeks and um, have christmas with family i think we're going to go to hungary this year anyway Oh, Kelly's saying you should pop down on holiday. Well, Kelly, be careful what you watch for because I might might just phone you like, Kelly, I'm getting on the plane. <laughs> Come and get me. <laughs> you never know. Christmas is coming. Absolutely. Oh, we, have, we said the C word and we said we're not going to say it. And I said it and you said it as well now. Yes, so we're going to be creating loads of Christmas stuff and just little Christmas decorations. I love that every single year when we do Christmas, actually I, I can just go on my main camera now. <laughs> I don't know why either. Every single year we maybe like add to our Christmas decorations and make new beads and new stuff. I really do love it. And um, what did we do last year? I can't even remember. We did icicles. We did, was it the year before we did the candle holders? We had a beaded Christmas tree. We had, oh, what else did we have? <laughs> angel little angels um we had loads of different things so I, I don't know what we're gonna come up with this year we might have to come up with something collectively but uh, the reefs yeah that yeah, that one as well um and then like in the beat club we did um well actually do you want to have a sneak peek of the beat club but we did last well I'm, I'm just making up the sample and i'm only going to bring in one corner of it and show you but um we're doing a very long lariat and each end is we're going to do africa i'm <laughs> talking about africa we're on in the beat club next week we're doing african helix stitch which i'm going to show you how does it look like and it's one of my one of my um I really love doing it. You need to do it on a dowel or you need to do it on a crochet hook or something, but you're going to be stitching your beads together and we're just going to be adding a little frilly bottom to it because it's a lariat. It's just going to be a very long rope, but you kind of like just tie it together in a knot at the front. But this is what we will be doing this uh, this coming Thursday and Friday in a bead club. So do check that one out as well. And if you want to join us, um, you can book on the website and I would love to have you there. We do it on Zoom and we just have so much fun just chatting and doing all all all, all the beading. But um, it's a really it's a really nice and easy one, this one to do. Quite time consuming, but it will be really nice. Oh Lucy saying bead club is really good. I love bead club. That's one of my favorite time of the week, to be honest, because we all get together and we just all just chat, chat, chat. And it's just a nice, nice for everybody. I'll pop the link in. Thank you so much. And we are, we are kind of like we will be join, we will be launching a new website very, very soon, but um, in the next week or so, hopefully, and there will be even more things on there. Right, my lovelies, have a beautiful evening or beautiful afternoon, wherever you're watching from. I'll be back on Totally on Wednesday. Um, Natalie's on Totally tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what she's doing. You know me, I never know what day it is. I don't know what we're doing. Um, let me just have a quick peek in the diary. She is doing rings. So, beaded rings. So, do tune on that one. That one, I do really love. Um, I, I, I love her. I love her stuff, what she does. Um, doing things with a different 
different a pair of eyes i guess so she will be with you tomorrow and totally i will be with you on wednesday um next sunday we're back and we're going to be working with the paprika beads one last time and then we're going into christmas a uh, bead club on thursday we'll be making excuse all the thread we'll be making a beautiful long lariat necklace and that's it everybody have a beautiful week if i don't see you if i only see you next sunday have a beautiful week and i'll see you very very soon